Angiotensin and converting enzyme inhibitors have been widely dedicated to research since the late 1950s. Initiation into the development of ACE inhibitors had begun from the discovery of an orally inactive peptide from pit viper venom. Today, in modern society, they are used extensively among patients suffering from primarily hypertension and congestive heart failure. The first inhibitor, Captopril, had been introduced by the FDA in 1981 under the trade name Capotin, marking a revolutionary breakthrough in modern medicine. Captopril being part of the first generation laid the foundation, with eventual second and third generation agents making their way to the market with positive leaps and bounds. Upon the initial framework, we will take a look at its mechanism of action. The renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, also known as RAS, is where many biological reactions take place to form angiotensin II to increase blood pressure along with the secretion of aldosterone and ADH. ACE inhibitors, being antagonists, are only the surface foundation for the specific actions within the body. Specifically, these inhibitors seize the conversion of angiotensin I to angiotensin II by antagonizing the ACE binding sites. This thereby causes a decrease in blood pressure in proportion to arteriolar resistance, cardiac output, and stroke volume. With further understanding into their mechanism of action within the body, we can effectively tackle the clinical use of these drugs. ACE inhibitors are effective treatments in dealing with not only hypertension, but a variety of cardiovascular diseases such as cardiac failure, acute myocardial infarction, and renal diseases including diabetes mellitus, chronic renal failure, and systemic sclerosis. We all know that the reduction in blood pressure is the main clinical effect of ACE inhibitors. However, there are significant other advantages in ill individuals as well. These medications work complementary by suppressing the progression of diabetic nephropathy and chronic kidney disease, thus in turn reducing cardiovascular risks. With such advanced treatment in today's generation, mortality rates of prone patients have depreciated over the years. Yet with the positive impacts, there are cor correlating adverse effects as with an expanse of drugs today. The most obvious listed is hypertension, a lowering in blood pressure. So let's examine the others. Hyperkalemia and excess retention of potassium ions in the plasma can occur due to the suppression of aldosterone levels in the body. Rash and taste disturbances are heavily prevalent in captopril in comparison to second and third generation ACE inhibitors. Also, there have been indications of prenatal malformations due to the administration by pregnant women due, uh, within their first trimester. Research, however, is still going on into the matter. Overall, the superior advancements into these drugs have driven scientists to the dedication of providing more efficient drug designs. Probably the most major milestone as of yet is the discovery of two unique active sites on the angiotensin converting enzyme. The C domain, which is involved in the regulation of blood pressure, and the N site, having the possibility to open new therapeutic gateways. The end site also acts as an enzyme involved in metabolizing a homoregulatory hormone. The determination for the development of more third generation drugs such as Fosinopril is the main driving force in today's pharmaceutical industry in utilizing these unique methods. As globalized healthcare continues to exceed every day, the aim of the future still lies within increasing the therapeutic effects while also minimalizing the adverse effects.